and now we're interviewing Calico Counterfeit. Yippee. Uh, yeah, yippee. It's it's 2 a.m. where I am. <laughs> this is a good idea. This is a good idea. For context, I, I, I was like, hey, Calico, want to be interviewed? And then Calico was like, okay, uh, Quinn, you're so awesome and cool, and I idolize you, and yeah. Yep, I said all of that. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's me. That, also, that's me. I also, it's like, it's like, it's not even that late. It's like 10 p.m. for me. Oh, what the hell? I don't know, but but lucky, I just lucky. got the urge to make something. So let's interview Calico Counterfeit. I'm here. Yippee. All right. I love being Calico Counterfeit. So I have like two sections of questions. So there's important shit and random shit. Which one Jeez. do you want to do first? Or do you want to like alternate between the two? Uh, whichever one's easier. All right, random shit. All right, let, let's let, let's start with random shit. Uh, have you ever been recognized, Calico Counterfeit? This is in, yeah. Uh, like in real life, in game, or like, like, like I I would say either, cause... Um, so in real life, it's kind of like the other way around. Someone actually, uh found my channel like they they heard my voice and they're like hey wait you remind me of someone and i'm like yeah okay that's pretty cool and then they actually like pulled up my twitch i still went by clown i still went by clown then <laughs> um and real this, this sounds so like fake but they walked up to me at the bus loop and they're like oh hey dead name or should i say clown miser and i i froze in my place and came in my pants because you know i don't I didn't. I didn't think that was ever a thing that would happen. Uh, in game, it's happened like once while I was streaming. Uh, someone. I think I was just being stream sniped, but I don't think he really cares because someone, someone recognized me and said my content was pretty good. And, and you know, it was it was nice. It was really sweet. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I was once recognized in like third grade, I think, and then there was this kid. Third I was grade? walking to school with a hoodie, like. I mean, like, a really shitty hoodie with with my character on it, and it was, like, Doggy Clark merch. And then this kid just, like, turned around. I don't think it was third grade. But then this kid just, like, turned around and was, like, Are you Doggy Clark? And I was, like, and then I unzipped my coat to show the hoodie, and I was, like, Yeah. And then the kid ran that did away not from happen. me. No, that did happen, but then the kid ran away from me. For some reason i don't believe you no i i wish i was i i i my mind might have been a bit like foggy i think i wish i unzipped my coat but i do know that the kid like was like are you doggy clark and then i was like yeah and then the kid ran away i, I know that that much is true yeah, he, he unzipped the they unzipped their coat <laughs> like superman yes yes i am doggy clark he says <laughs> smiling very uh, yes. big muscles Six foot tall. Oh, uh, but, but yeah, that was fun. Uh, recognizing re what? Being recognized is fun. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go on to one of the important shit questions. What are some of your hobbies? Um, just drawing, sleeping. Uh, does listening to music count? Because I think that I think that counts. Uh, Probably. Uh, yeah. Kidnapping small children, keeping what? them in my basement, not feeding them for a couple of weeks, uh, beating them, whipping them, and then selling their organs for uh, you know profit. Yep. Nice. Um, Next question. Mhm. 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 Another one is: What are some of your older aliases? I added this one specifically for you because I know that you have. Okay. Funny so. Um. Okay, so starting from 2014, uh, there was nin there was uh, Electricity Ninja, uh, there was Magic Jester, there was uh, I I think I think uh, God, I'm trying to think of other ones. There was Fazzy, but with two Y's because it's an it's an Undertale what? music creator. I'm like, hey, I'm oh. that's cool, so I'm gonna steal the name F A. Z Y Y, and then I played Fortnite for a long time. So oh, it was oh. uh, so it was uh, Lava Gamer X X X X. That's a lava um, gamer. And then there was, 
and then there was uh i forgot what other one there was uh there was i came i came up with uh insufferable but there was two e's and then i came up with calico because i uh, you know yeah, calico you was in 2017 and i've stuck with it ever since uh, if i'm correct there was like a bunch of like different like mini eras and shit because i met you when you were there was calico, mini but you were like calico uh the cat right and then yeah <laughs> and then and then you ended there up was calico the devil's cat. knife uh the devil's knife and all of the aliases that had to relate to it were inspired by deltarune and then there was a clown pierce arc there was clown oh <laughs> There's clown. There was clown fool, and then there was clown miser, and then I went back to calico because I kept getting bullied. Oh, that's a bit funny, monkey. That's a bit silly, Luffy. Uh, let me turn down. Let me let me turn the question around. Give me all your old aliases, the ones that I don't know about. So if I'm correct, my, the entire time I've been on my like Doggy Clark channel, I was Doggy Clark, but there was a time, there was a dark era before Doggy Clark. Where I was using my mom's account before she had to change it back to her to her like name, so then she could like send like business emails and shit. Uh, where I had named my mother's like Google account Ninja Gamer Puppy Boy, and okay, it well, was... <laughs> <laughs> it was an experience. It was, it was something. That's for sure. Uh, all right, what's your favorite movie? Um, uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage is my favorite movie. It's either that or, uh, Nightmare on Elm. No, 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 not Nightmare. Uh, if Jason Goes to Hell. Jason Goes to Hell is my all time favorite movie. I love that movie so much. I have not seen that one because, you know, it's Friday the 13th. It Friday the 13th is, uh, has a very special place in my heart. That's so, a bit funny, silly. of course, of course. Also, sub question in the said question, uh, which animation studio makes the best villains? Uh, Disney. Disney. Disney, a hundred percent. Disney makes very, very good villains because sometimes they make villains seem like good guys, and then like, oh wow, evil twist. Now, see, granted, Pixar's villains are really, really good. No, actually, uh, now that I think about it, what's the uh, DreamWorks? DreamWorks? DreamWorks makes really, yeah, DreamWorks really good makes villains. The best ones. DreamWorks is a very, very good studio. I thought that you really were, like, making films. a joke about Disney and shit, and I was like, all right, this will be funny. Mm -hmm. Disney villains are kind of, are kind they're, they're kind of repetitive, like, but they're also, yeah. they have charm to them. Yeah, so. same. And now it's just intergenerational trauma. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Who do you think that the best SpongeBob character is? Squidward. Squidward, elaborate, because elaborate. we all used to, uh, everybody used to hate him when we were younger. Everyone would think, hey, Squidward is such a killjoy. He's so negative. He's so this and that. He's a and then as Nipsey. we slowly get older, as Lessa, we slowly get, get older, we. Fuck you, Lessa. I'm talking about Squidward. I'm just gonna. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll tell you when you can come back. Look, okay, Squidward, because. Uh, He's, he used to be like the killjoy, the unfun one, and then as we slowly get older, we start to realize how actually relatable Squidward is, and how, That's depressing. you know, how um, much, how depressing Squidward actually is, and how much we can actually relate to him, so I like Squidward. That is true. I'm running out of random shit questions, so back to the important shit. Uh, what do you think makes you unique? I talked to you about this, like, right before the interview, like, what I think makes oh, me God. somewhat unique, um... You have a lot of things that make you unique, but okay, well, that makes I'm happy. I'm I'm extremely narcissistic, so just to like not be in character for like on air quotes, I think what makes me unique is the fact that I not stole, but I took personalities from a bunch of my favorite YouTubers. Like take uh yeah, that's take, what take I did. like the the crazier side of a lot of YouTubers, and then you take the more moody and chiller side of uh some modern mcyts and then you take like the the point the like you can't tell if they're being serious or not kind of aspect from a bunch of other youtubers and then you throw that all into one and then you add you know some mental illness to it and i think that's what makes me unique the fact that you can't in my friend's word you can't really know if i'm being serious or not or if i'm you know i can be threatening and i cannot be threatening and i think that's what makes me unique 
Alright, alright. Can I, like, really quickly have my own take on this? So, you said, like, a bunch of shit, like, thrown together. That... Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, so... Uh, I was told by Moxie while I was on my Jordan trip uh, in, like, June of last year. Where... And, and, I'll, and like, Mox was like, all right, I'm pretty sure, all right, well, your editing is, like, almost identical to Ron Boo's, which I was like, oh, yeah, wait, is that good or bad? And then Mox was like, all right, so I think that the only issue is, is that your voice kind of stung, but whatever, uh, but basically, in my eyes, I'm just, like, a bunch of shit, like, like, a bunch of just, like, weird, zany, destructive, kind of chaotic, also really sad and mental ill, uh, shit just and make it into one thing and then make people make fun of it being a furry and then you got me yeah i i think i think that is a really good aspect of you the fact that you know it's just a bunch of shit thrown together some yeah. of the best parts some of the more annoying parts but that's what makes you unique yeah i think that's yeah that, that is a that is a great personality trait yeah juniper i'm doing something right now <laughs> <laughs> Take your crocodile <laughs> toy and your and your dumb ass. Okay, thank you. I can still hear you. Okay, um <laughs> Uh What are your goals for the future? Um not get canceled for one because, you know, That's a bit difficult. my humor is yeah. Not get canceled. Um build up a platform cuz a lot of people like want to be content creators nowadays everybody says oh i want to build a stable uh supporting friendly community where everyone can be themselves and then th i i want to say that but i also don't i want to build a community cuz my main message um in real life and on the internet is that you can unapolo you can unapologetically be yourself because yeah. at the end of the day you know you know yeah you should just be yourself and that you shouldn't be afraid to voice your opinion and stuff so that's what I want to do. I want to build a community of people who aren't afraid to express what they think and how they feel, but also uh, people who are like-minded and with common sense and stuff. Now, see, granted, my 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 community at the moment is kind of you know not that, but you know I want to I want to I want to put the message out there and I want to you know well, I'm taking my dogs I want to I want to I want to be like that. And your yeah. dogs are <laughs> your dogs are great. They're, they're amazing. They're also really just utterly stupid, and it makes me smile. Uh, but yeah, I think that that was a pretty good response to that question. Because there's, like, stuff that where people go, like, Dude, this fucking, this sucks. Oh my goodness, people don't like me. And then you're just like, I mean, be yourself, fuck it. Because, uh, yeah. That's basically, that's just how it works. Uh, that next yeah, question, what is the best fruit of all time? Here, Potatoes. I'm a fucking crocodile back. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I I like bananas and grapes. Potatoes. Fair enough. Potatoes. True, true. Uh Who or what inspired you to make content? Oh god, there's so many. Um okay, so uh from old YouTube there's iDubs, Filthy Frank, uh actually a lot of PewDiePie too. PewDiePie um Except for the and then of there's the commentary uh, jay schlatt uh technoblade yeah. uh who else stampy oh, i ballistic squid stampy. Oh, we all um, love stampy. i'm trying to think of more youtubers hold on uh xqc definitely xqc uh, uh and i think that's about it i mean if i look at my youtube subscriber list i can probably oh god yeah uh, uh clown pierce <laughs> wilbur soot really? radunes Wilbur, uh, so it's like a huge fucking Kaneko Kitten. What the? Dan TDM. Uh, right. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, there's one more. There's one. Oh, yeah, Quackity. Quackity exists. Oh, Quackity. Quack, Quackity. I do except know, except old Quackity. Quackity. Not, not like chaotic, more like hyper Quackity, like now. But like Quackity back then when he would go live at like weird hours of the night. And he would play Minecraft, and he would sound sort of tired, but not very tired. And he would still be hyperactive, just not, like, all over the place like he is now. That's the Quackity that I knew, and the Quackity that uh, inspired me to be how I am. So it's Quackity's fault. It is Quackity's fault. <laughs> Alright, 
right, there's about like two questions left on my sheet. Uh, there's, uh, where do you think you'll be in five years? Dead. Anyway. Okay. Uh, all right. Hypothetically, you're alive uh, in five years. What do you hope to accomplish, or what do you think will will will, will you be like? I I hope to first of all not be canceled. I hope to of course uh, meet more like-minded creators. Because granted, the gr the fr the friend group I have now is great, and I love every single one of you guys. But I, know, I hope to awesome. meet more creators that are uh that have my sort of mindset and more creators that are more willing to make content i hope to have a, a not a platform platform but more like a more like a you, like a little cardboard box i can stand up on and people will pay attention to me that's what i hope to have i hope to have a community where people are all you know not afraid to be themselves and people who basically acknowledge my existence because at the end of the day that's all i want attention i you know <laughs> but, i just yeah. want attention Attention good. We all like attention. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, Alright, there's one more question left, and this is the most important one. Um, This is going to end the video. Uh, Should the viewer subscribe? Yes. Alright, and with that, thank you all for watching this amazing, awesome interview. Yeah! I'm gonna go and cry now. Hey, Quinn, I have some weed. You wanna smoke? Just maybe. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>